Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! What am I doing at the lobby of the Fire Fortress here? That's not where I was last time. Well, in the next part I did a little bit of a flop because I didn't really know what was going on. I'll tell you in the way. So basically what I should have done was when I left the Fire Fortress in the next part, I should have went over to the airport and headed on over to the challenge hall because there's a guaranteed challenge hall tournament here going on with a guaranteed prize that you definitely want to get and I didn't know what happened at this moment in time and I ended up going to another fort so basically after you leave the fire fortress don't don't go to another fortress come back over here but there's a challenge hall <laughs> it's it's got your name all over it now the deck same deck as I used before, no changes or anything like that, just same as the other 0.5 part as uh, you seen last, so let's just go ahead and get the rare Pikachu level 13 card, yeah! Anyway, let's, <laughs> let's get the challenge cup started, second challenge cup technically, challenge cup is underway, here's our current undefeated player Roberts, here's our new challenger, everyone recognizes this player, it's Mint! You both ready? Place your four prize cards first. Now then, start the competition! Phantom Dark! Ghosts of Doom will haunt us! Only his deck is kinda iffy, so <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> anyway, well, I'll, 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 you know, we'll kinda we'll get into that and we actually get a hand. Oh, dang it! <laughs> we get a hand that we can use here. We need at least one basic Pokemon. There's a lot of basic Pokemon in this deck, too, so. It's kind of weird that I'm not getting it twice in a row. I guess lead with Golding because I got the Water Energy. Spiro is back up. All those is back up, I guess. Because there's a whole host of stuff that they can evolve to or just nice to have around in general. So Ooh, that Jinx is a pretty decent basic Pokemon because of its high HP. But we shall see if it becomes a factor. Probably will be knowing my terrible luck. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Astonishing! Uh, maybe I should trade for Hungry Snorlax. Yeah, I just might do that because... Psychic Resistance and all like that. So... Yeah, unless it's not in here. Oh shoot, it's not in here, is it? Oh no, oh wait, no, I, I just passed it up. Shoot, I went too quick. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll let him knock out Goldie and just focus on the Snorlax. There we go. Call it a turn. He'll probably get two heads again, just knowing my luck. So it'll be nice and quick, I suppose. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it should average 10 damage. You know, one heads, one tails. Uh, I could Defender to give it a little extra time. Hmm... Maybe not, because I'll be able to get that free switch in, and then I'll be able to start eating and the like, so... Yeah, you go ahead and do your meditation, that will do absolutely nothing to Snorlax, even. Because <laughs> it's got to have damage counters in order for that meditate to actually have that little bit of, little bit of a boost there. Alright, so I don't have energy, but I was going to eat anyway, so... Eh. Eh. Alright, energy card, please. Thank you. And I'll eat, then I'm up to 80 damage. Sorry, Jinx, but you're going down! <laughs> and that Hypno won't even really be able to do much of anything in general. So, yeah, I think we are in a winning position here. <laughs> Roll out, two counters, 70 HP, so I need to do all the counters. Well, there's Hypno. Yeah, here's what he's probably going for, because the Hypno has the Sleepy Sleepies, I thought. Uh, oh, it, it does damage the bench, that's right, it's not, yeah. Okay, fine, fine, whatever, that's it's not, not not much of a difference. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking he was the Sleepy Sleepy type of Hypno, but no. Um, hold on a sec. Let's try and get a Parasect in play as well. And eat. It's a little bit faster eating than it is uh, actually rolling out every turn uh, in this sort of situation because it goes 20, 50, 80 as opposed to 20, 20, 20, 20, yeah, so. Uh, 
yeah, eat <laughs> two food counters. We are maxed out. We are full. You didn't attack. Uh, plus power, not really necessary, but might come in handy a little bit later on. Two counters. Knock out the Hypno, and... Wait, that... Oh, yeah, 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 that's right, that's right, it's 90 HP, not... <laughs> I was thinking of the Jinx for some reason. Uh, um, now in this situation, I might just do two rollouts. Uh, anyway, gotta get the Parasect going here. Yeah, I'll just do two rollouts. So, it, it didn't, didn't really matter, because I could only max out at 80 damage anyway, so... Eh. <laughs> uh, Jigglypuff kind of could do a little bit of damage with the pound gradually. I can, now I can use the plus power, so I'm going to eat, plus power next turn with the rollout, one food counter equals 60 to knock out the Jigglypuff, so that's one of those situations where plus power comes in handy once again, always got a math, <laughs> um, for the Parasect, Star you should probably be put in play, and, oh, should another, I forgot the plus power, well, <laughs> okay, fine, I'll save it. <laughs> I was thinking of the Star U setting up and and the Parasect setting up, but it doesn't matter that much, I guess. Um, actually, I'll put that on Bulbasaur and roll out. So yeah, I would have been 20 less damage to Hungry Snorlax, but so far I think Hungry Snorlax is uh, doing a good job anyway. So <laughs> Confuse Ray might be a little bit of an issue, but. We shall see. Um, could use Defender to prevent confusion damage potentially. Maybe. Well, first let's try to eat. Please give me heads. Thank you. <laughs> then I'll try the uh, the Defender on the next turn just in case. So. Pop that on there, and roll out. Please, heads. Aww. Alright, so the defender prevents the confusion damage. So that ended up being a wise choice there. I should say a wise guess. And I guess I'll try it again next turn. I still have the food counter after all. And roll out. Heads, please. I don't have a defender. Aww. <laughs> oh man, it's like the only way that he can cause damage to the hungry Snorlax aside from colorless Pokemon. Is uh, confusion. Uh, we're gonna put Ivy Sword in place. So that's that's not very uh, good shape for him. Ah, oh, I got tails. Let's say if I get heads, that would also be terrible shape for him. Um, I think I'll put out Spiro because of the free retreat cost. Sure, it'll take uh, regular damage from that, but as long as I'm able to retreat, you know repeatedly turn after turn freely. I'm able to do so with the confusion basically, so we're gonna try the retreat into Ivysaur, hopefully. Oh, didn't work. <laughs> I guess I'll try energy removaling the Jinx just in case, and I'm not gonna attack because I want to just keep attempting to retreat, and if I do damage to myself he's just gonna wipe me out with Drowsy, so just gonna hold off with that, and then plus power the Ivysaur's Vine Whip. Hopefully, you know, assuming I'm able to switch. And I'm not gonna Professor Oak, because I, I already have the, the keys to victory here. Very nice. Plus power, not forgetting it this time. <laughs> Vine Whip on the Drowsy, and prize card. There we go. And he's doing pretty decently, actually, if you think about it, because of the, uh, um, he, he managed to hold off the Hungry Snorlax, although one of it was my issue. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I should absorb or if I should just Vine Whip. Probably just Vine Whip, because I got Parasect as backup anyway, so... Yeah, I'll just do that, put it in range of the Parasect, and that'll force him to switch, no matter what. Yeah, that's what I thought. Confusory, then? You better hope you get heads, mister. <laughs> Oh, that's not good for you. So I do take 10 damage from that, but if I get a plus power, that would be pretty pretty nice to to boot there. Um, Let's dump out our hand here. Oh, wait, wait, hold on a sec. I don't need to do any of those shenanigans. I've got Gust of Wind. <laughs> Fine, what? 
victory is mine! And there we go. Yeah, always gotta remember that Gust of Wind is something that you can use to win the game, too, you know? <laughs> thank you, thank you! I don't know how I lost that one, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> That's what I imagine him saying. Meet a new challenger, Matthew! Yes, I would like to... Save my game, man! <laughs> no. Rolling Stone deck. Since he's using the rock type of fighting Pokemon, I should probably lead with the grass critters because double damage and stuff, so. Well, if I can, I can't. <laughs> Alright, Goldine, it is then. It's not gonna be able. I mean, he's not gonna be able to knock out Goldine on the first turn anyway. Just, I don't see it happening. So you you do your Ponyta thing. Oh, actually, come to think of it, with the. Uh, uh, water Pokemon against his fire as well, yeah, it's... I, I forgot he uses more than just the fighting, anyway. Bill? Alright, I see, I see. Okay, so I'm gonna do this as a little sneaky sneak. Just in case he tries to pull something there. Um... I'm gonna trade... R oops, trade Rattata for Paris. Because Rattata takes double damage to fighting Pokemon. So I'm gonna put that in play. Unfortunately, can't get it set up right away, but... Horn attack for now, du double damage, 20, be able to knock out Ponyta on the next turn. Not as good as a star you slap, of course, but eh, it'll, it'll work. <laughs> it'll work for now. Uh, there's that for the future Parasect, and I'll horn attack. As a matter of fact, um, I might just switch from the Goldeen into the Paris, because I can automatically knock out the Geodude with Scratch. Basically, so yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna Bill, Starmie, and uh, Parasects. Yeah, I don't really think any of those are issues. The Parasect retreats, and oops! Oh, jeez, I almost was click spore. No, no, no! Scratch for double damage. <laughs> so it's not an automatic thing if I'm gonna click the wrong attack. Dang it! And scratch for ten. Sure, sure. Well, it's actually scratch for 20, because double damage, but... Alright... So let's put Parasect in play. And... Actually, wait, hold on a sec. Um... I'm thinking of Professor Oaking here. Hmm... I think I will. So, that, that'll allow me to get something set up on the side, assuming that Parasect has some sort of ire here, and maybe I can get energy removal, which I did not. <laughs> That's fine, though. I just needed one more energy in general. I want to dish out some damage to Charmander, and then use something else I've got set up as backup, because anything else I have can do 10 damage to the... Uh, oh, oh, what by that? I was going to say, anything that I have can do 10 damage to Charmander, but why would you use it on Ponyta? Charmander is like your best bet, Ash. <laughs> wiping me out here, because it has the, yeah, <laughs> the highest HP, well, I guess it wouldn't have the highest HP, but still, still, Goldie. <laughs> uh, what's his energy? Uh, it's got nothing. So, that's going on there. <laughs> uh, I don't really have a Goldine, unfortunately. Should probably put that in play in general. Spearow as well, for the fighting resistance. Yeah, I guess that too, you know what? <laughs> Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, what do we... What am I doing here? <laughs> I can do Seeking... <laughs> I just plop that, because I got enough energy on the Goldie. No, what am I doing here? Uh, don't need to use that. Don't... Yeah, I already used the energies, so... Wait, wait, actually... I'm gonna slow relax. Oh, oh, no, it's full. Dang it, I miscounted. Okay, fine, whatever. A waterfall for the KO, and... Hopefully, just hopefully, you won't get a basic Pokémon and I'll be able to win. Ah, I got Diglett! <laughs> unlucky, unlucky. Although I do have my energy removal, so... That is still a factor. And Waterfall, 60 damage for a quick knockout of that. And then I'll be able to knock out the Diglett right away, but it's still one turn later than it should have been. Dang it! <laughs> nah, that's fine. Then... And attack, waterfall, doesn't even matter what I draw, because it's a guaranteed win at that point, so not even gonna bother attaching things. Woof! Woof! 
I say! Congratulations, Vent! You've got two total wins! You're well on your way to becoming the champion! What bad luck, Matthew. Please try again next time. Oh, man. <laughs> the final duel will request the Clubmaster to come forth. Oh, man! Oh, man! Well, which Clubmaster will challenge this player? Oh, it's Gene. <laughs> One of the easiest ones. <laughs> Especially since I'm using Grass Pokemon. The Discovery Valley will be waged with six prize cards. I will save just in case, because, you know, it's still possible for my deck to brick and all like that, so... But, you know, chances are, if my deck works fine, I'm gonna win this, so... And this is your third and final challenger begin! Rocky Summit deck! Let's go! So yeah, with his double damage to my grass critters... Oh, and I got Bulbasaur right off the bat! Sorry, Gene! Not sorry, actually. <laughs> uh, so, oh, actually, any grass Pokemon would have been pretty fine with that in general. Put that on there, and we're gonna tackle. Alright, so we're gonna be able to knock out Onyx on the next turn with the... <laughs> with the Razor Leaf, unless some sort of energy removal shenanigans comes into play, or he flips heads. Which he did not. So I'm going to end up wiping out his energy as well, because he attached that to the Onyx, which is going to go straight to the discard pile, because of the double damage of Doom. And another Onyx. You better hope for that bind there, mister. <laughs> Just got to hope that the bind pans out. Oh. I'm going to be doing 60 off of Onyx there, unless I get plus power. But now I'm just going to draw two first, see what I get. Oh, traitor! That! That might be... Wait, wait, hold on a sec. What do I... I'm gonna trade the Goldeen for Ivysaur. Put him, put him in a really big pickle now. <laughs> put that into play. Plop that on there. And Vine Whip. Just to outright knock out the Onyx. I, you know, I could have used Absorb to heal a bit, but he's gonna start using 20 damage attacks on anyway. It's just kind of moot. I'd rather just continually put pressure on him, especially since Rhyhorn takes three energy cards to power up. So, yeah, he, well, he's going to get a bunch of basic Pokemon, but chances are as well, I'm going to be able to wipe them out before he's able to even power them up and wait. That, that's really? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, anyway, Bill, hopefully I can get Gust of Wind and just attack that Rhyhorn. Uh, well... I guess I can get Staryu set up, and Vine Whip for the knockout! I can basically knock out anything right now, uh, because everything is double damage on his side, so... Yep! And so I, th I think what his plan is to kind of do 30 damage to my Ivysaur, and then maybe dish out 20 with something else. Possibly? Maybe? Um, but for now, I'm just going to keep Vine Whipping spam, because... It's just, it's the perfect setup, basically, for what he's got out. Including the Q-Bone here. I mean, you just got the Snivel, but it's still double damage, so the Snivel is pretty moot. It's gonna drop it down to 30, which means 60 damage, and that's enough to uh, wipe it. Um, put that on... Oh wait, actually no, it's gonna drop it to 70 damage, because it does the damage reduction after the uh, damage calculation is finished, so... Yes. Oh no, it is still- oh, it is 60. Hmm. Must be confusing some other rule. I, can, I should probably read that really quick. Um, yeah, you're stuck. Yeah, I'll just take a quick see- take a quick look-see here at that. Snivel. Any damage done by- the oh yeah, it is- it's reduced by 20. Why did I think it was reduced by 10? So... Yeah... It's after applying, yeah, so I was right about that. It, it was after applying weakness and resistance, but it was 20 instead of 10. The 60 was confused, uh, is what confused me. Anyway, Vine Whip for the win. <laughs> so, yeah, that Gene is one of the easiest club masters by design because he's one, like, one of the first ones that you battle in the game, as you remember. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, he's got a lot of defensive stuff. But he doesn't dish out a lot of damage. Congratulations, you found a tournament winner! But bad luck, Gene. Please try again next time. I will go meditate on this. We found the winner of the Challenge Cup competition! It's Mint! Here you go, Mint. You know, Pikachu level 13 card! Yay! 
And you've probably seen peeps use this card before. It's got recharge, search your deck for a lightning energy card attached to Pikachu, and Thunderbolt, discard all energy cards attached to Pikachu. So it can do 50 damage on turn two. You know, lightning energy, use use uh, recharge to grab another one, and then Thunderbolt on that for 50, but it's a lot of energy card usage, so be wise when you use the Pika Pika. <laughs> Once more, congratulations! Thank you, thank you. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I go back over to the GR challenge. Well, not GR challenge. <laughs> GR. GR. Uh, oh, jeez, I made myself giggly. <laughs> the GR fortresses. There we go. <laughs> because now I should be going over to them since I beat the challenge cup. So, yes.